Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you how you can prevent other users from associating a site to your hub. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So here's a situation. You uh, probably created a hub within your organization. You can have one hub, you can have multiple hubs, doesn't really matter. But by default, pretty much anyone can associate their sites to your hub because the you know, the way it works in SharePoint, the primary requirement uh, for users to associate a site to your hub uh, is that they only need um, to be the owner of the site that they're associating, all right? They don't even need to have the access um, to your hub site at all. They don't even need to be a visitor or owner. Again, they don't even need to be, uh, to have any access to the hub site, they can still uh, unfortunately, associate a site to your hub. Um, so uh, let me demonstrate to you how you can prevent that. Um, so here's a situation. I have uh, this communication site. It's not a hub yet. I'm going to register this as a hub. All right. So I'm I'm obviously within the SharePoint Admin Center. I'm going to register this as a hub right here. And let's call it uh, Greg's Hub. All right. Here we go. Now, right here, you can see this field, uh, people who can associate sites with the hub. It's blank. If I leave it blank, then essentially anyone, anyone can associate their sites to my hub, all right? If I fill it in with uh, you know, some names, then uh, only those people who appear over here will be able to associate a site to the hub. All right. Now I'm going to ignore this, um, you know, for now, um, and um, uh, we'll do this uh, setup a little bit later because I want to demonstrate you something, essentially prove you what I just said. So I'm going to register this site as a hub. All right. So uh, let's check it out. It should be a hub site right now. You see, I've got a hub menu over here. All right. So now uh, let me just prove the point that uh, Mary, all right, uh, Mary right here, uh, I'm logged in as Mary who is the owner of her site, uh, she can associate her site to my hub. And by the way, Mary, just to prove the point, uh, does not uh, have access to my hub. You see, I'm the only one uh, who has access to this site right here, to this hub site. Yet, if I go to this screen right here, I'm logged in as Mary, and Mary goes in and she can associate, you see, uh, her site to my hub, even though she doesn't have any access to that. All right, look at this. She just associated, um, you know, her site to my hub. You see, she got my hub, you know, menu and all. And if you know, she clicks on uh, this link, she gets access denied. You see, she she just tried going to the parent hub. She got access denied, but yet she was still able to connect it, uh, you know, her site to my hub. So how can we prevent that? Well, look, remember when I created, when I registered my hub, right? Uh, when you register a hub, it, it does ask you to provide a list of people who uh, kind of approved people, right? Who can associate the site to the hub. Uh, I have already created a hub, uh, but yet I can still, uh, you, you know, change, adjust the hub settings and still provide the names. So for that, I just, um, I just, um, you know, uh, do this, um, click on the checkbox, edit hub settings, all right? And again, this field is blank. Uh, now, what I'm going to do, I'm actually, uh, because I don't I don't want Mary to associate a site to my hub, all right? Uh, I want only John, you know, I only want John to associate a site to my hub. So remember, if I start typing the names here, um, I can, it's only the people who are listed here, uh, you know, this is the people who will be able to associate a site to my hub. All right, so let me do that. Now, let me go back to uh, Mary's uh, screen. Uh, let's disassociate a site to the hub and then I'll try to reconnect, all right? Here we go. Uh, let's just choose, you know, something else. Here we go. Perfect, so I'm dissociating a site from the hub. Now I want to associate, uh, associate a site again uh, to Greg's hub and let's see if that works. You see, it's not even in the, in the list. Why? Because remember, in hub settings, I specify that only John can connect to Greg's hub. So essentially, Mary doesn't even have an option to choose my hub site because she is not on that list. 
all right so um this is a nice trick to use uh if you um uh, you know obviously are creating a hub and want to control you know which sites are associated uh to your hub uh now uh one last thing i wanted to mention to you is that uh within when you specify the names you can also specify security groups all right so uh if i do this all right i typed in john uh but i can also type in uh you know security groups they could be um, um you know your um um you know ad groups they could be your Office 365 or Microsoft 365 security groups, uh, they could be the names. So you see in this case, John is obviously, you know, the individual. This happens to be a Microsoft 365 group uh, in my case, and then this is actually a security group, all right? So you can, uh, it, it could be pretty much anything, all right? But remember, only those people who are listed here will be able to associate a site to the, to the hub, uh, not anyone else, all right? Uh, so that's all I wanted to show you in this particular video. Hopefully you learned a new trick. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.